Hello everybody, Lord Vapor is back here with the Vaped Flora. Interesting looking one this. Looks quality in the box, however the balance is all wrong, the weight's wrong. We've got our glass pathway which I'm impressed about. It just feels a little bit light and maybe top heavy, like the battery's maybe towards the top of the device. We screw off our little lid. And then we've got our glass pathway there. Now you know I'm a fan. My trouble with this is the holes at the bottom of the glass pathway are very tiny. I can imagine they're getting blocked. There's our nice oven. It's nearly there. This is not perfect. It's almost got the quality, but it's the, it's the weight distribution within the device. Just not right. I know I'm being picky, but, you know, I like no fuss with my vaporizer. And I think this is going to be horrible to clean. There's our standard USB US one. We can use our phone chargers. This one is on a uh, micro USB, sorry, mini USB even. In the bottom there. And that's how we charge. I just used my iPhone charger on this, not a problem. Our warranty card. And instructions on a plastic, almost like a credit card. Nice little shredder here for your herb. I do prefer a grinder, I've got to be honest. Make a little cheese grater. What else have we got in here? Little tray. Interesting. And then our little tool here. Little bag for carrying around. Not subtle at all, really. And of course, our ubiquitous brush for the cleaning. Once we've finished, we don't want to push that mouthpiece while there's herb inside. It'll compress it all to the bottom of the oven and be messy to clean up. There she is. It's so close, but just not quite right. I'm being fussy here, I know. It's just strange to clean. You don't want to push that mouthpiece in when it's full. Yeah, let's fill our little oven up. Quite a large chamber, very, very similar to the uh, Wolf Mod, the Pinnacle, all those. Seems to have a similar size chamber. That's where we need to be careful, make sure we push this mouthpiece out. We don't want to compress all our herb in the chamber. Screw it home. And then we're going to three clicks. And we're heating. Heating time again, we're going to time here. You know, I've sped the footage up. These vaporizers do seem to be getting uh, faster and faster at heating. Looking forward to this glass, though. It's been a while since I've used the glass pathway. There you go. Under a minute again. This is good. And how does she taste? And as it goes, very, very nice. Very nice indeed, as it goes. This plume, amazing. So yes, just as issues with cleaning, quality issues, but still a really, really good vaporizer, it has to be said. So, if you like the look of this, click the link below. Let's chat soon. I'll have another little go. Now it's heated, hit its top temperature. Goodbye, everybody.